Hi, welcome back to Element 14 Presents. My name is Mark. As you can see, I'm in the middle of a splash party. And like always, it looks like I'm losing. I think it's high time for an upgrade. I need a bigger gun. So let's build one. So I went through my shed and I gathered some stuff uh, that I'm going to use to build this uh, water gun. Okay, so first thing I'm going to use is a canister to store all the water. I'm going to use quite a lot. We have a hose to transport that water to the actual gun. And of course, we have a pump to make it all happen. On this pump it says 10 bar. That's quite a lot. I don't think we need to sandblast those children. We just want to splash them. We should just give them a fair warning. So I'm going to include a light and a siren to give them heads up whenever I'm coming at them. And of course, we have a power supply. In this case, it's a battery that's normally used in power tools. And I have a switch to make it all happen. And all of that we're going to put into a nice backpack so it's easy to carry. So let's start building. So the first thing I'm going to do is modify this water tank. And for that I'm going to remove the handle because I don't need it. So right now I have space to mount the pump on top. And I'm going to mount it like so. And I will put the hose directly on the pump. And for that first I'm going to drill a hole. So we have the hose through here goes into the, the vessel and I want to make sure it's to the bottom. So this is where actually I'm going to attach the pump. Strangely enough I'm just going to screw it and it will leak some water but I will apply silicon later. So that's the pump and like I said I will apply some silicon around the screws and then uh, unwind them a bit and screw them in again so the silicon gets in between the thread and then it will be uh, enough waterproof. So I will place the battery charger around here or maybe like this but it will be loose not tight probably so it will fit in the backpack. But first we need to modify this power supply because not only do we need to be able to charge it I also need to be able to drain power from it from the battery. So for that I'm going to open up the battery charger like so already undid the screws and then we're going to attach two wires to the to the contacts. Here are two contact points and on the bottom I'm going to solder in some wires. First I'm going to apply some tin so it's easier to attach and then I'm just going to modify by attaching a wire and the other one that's the positive contact so we'll attach the brown wire. So now we're just going to put this thing back together and for that let's go in there and we'll make a little modification to this one. So the wires can go to the outside. Yep, that'll do it. So basically now we have the power from the battery on the wires as soon as I plug them in. I should mention that it's probably best to include a fuse somewhere in the line um, in case you make a short circuit. So we're just going to apply that fuse, you know, just to make sure that if something crazy happens, I will not set my backpack on fire. So I have a little automotive fuse, it's about 20 amps, and that should do it for now. And I'm just going to hardwire it by soldering it. So I better not short the thing because I will be changing fuse a lot. I don't like that of course. So now we should have a functional power pack. There's the pump. Here's the battery. Let's find out. Works fine. Okay and now all we need to do is put it in the backpack and of course we need to start wiring the siren. This is a light and it's bright 
it's quite intense. Yeah, and that way we can warn everyone visually, but I can also warn them with a little sound. Which is quite loud, I can tell you. Here is the backpack. And then we'll just add the container here. And the battery will just be here sitting on top. But we still need to do some wiring. Of course we have our, uh, our hose. And let me just take the hose and hook it up. Here's the pump. This is the connection for the hose. The battery goes in here and then we'll just close it all up. Like so. And then, you know, I'll just put it where it's supposed to go, on my back. Imagine this, with five kilos or more extra on water. And then we'll just have the hose. And I don't need a very long hose, actually. I think this is fairly enough. So we're going to cut that and reattach the connector, like so. And this then goes to the actually water gun. If you want a more powerful gun, look at this handle. You can change that for one, like a high pressure uh, cleaner. Of course you can exchange that, that's not a problem. But like I said, I don't want to sandblast people, I just want to splash them. So you will see later, this is more than enough. Do you like winning free stuff? Are you an electronics hobbyist? Do you like building cool projects and winning prizes for what you build? The Element 14 community presents Project 14, the member-driven destination where you decide on the challenge. You enter projects to win monthly prizes and you vote on the winners. What are you waiting for? Join the Element 14 community so you too can enter one of our contests or submit an idea for your own. Join now! Okay, so I uh, glued my blue light onto a piece of PVC pipe that I can just uh, slide in the side pocket of my backpack. And first thing I'm going to do is connect the wires of the light. Now I will isolate the wires with a bit of tape. I like to use galvanic tape because it's stretchable and it's water resistant because we never know where the water will get if they splash me again. And it's as simple as that. And then I just guide these wires through the hole so they're inside the pipe and we're good to go. Now we're going to do the switch because I want to be able to turn on the light and the sound separately but the only reason for that is the sound is very noisy and I don't want to overdo it so sometimes I just want to be able to only switch on the light. The three wires that we're going to attach. It's an old electric wire and since our siren nor the light, uh, they're not using a lot of power, you can use thin wire as well, but I happen to have this one. Now we're going to do the next one. And the final wire. So, now I have a switch with three wires, and the power is coming in on the green-yellow wire, and then if the switch is in one position, it will light the light only. On the other position, it will enable the siren and the light through the diode. So that's one side of the switch and we need to attach that into a little mount that I created. This mount that will fit the switch like so. And this will be mounted right here. But since, you know, this is the water hose, I cannot just drill holes in it. I will use tape. And again, this is non-sticky tape, it's actually rubber. It's very stretchable. And then I'll just mount the switch in here. There we have it. And with the same hand I can operate the switch. Okay, so these are connected now. And I can just operate it like so. Okay, time to put everything together in the backpack. So we got a pump with a main switch that I really do like to keep in there. You never know, so I can just disable it and I can put that on the outside of the backpack. It's not that spectacular watching me uh, wiring everything up, so instead let's take a look at the schematic. So we have our battery, we have a pump with a switch, 
and we have our toggle switch with the center position. In the center position everything's off and in position 1 the light will flash and in position 2 the light will flash and the siren will make a sound. And that last thing is possible by using a diode as you can see in the schematic. And that's all there is to it. So I'm just going to put this in the backpack. Of course we have our charger. That's what we're going to be needing. And this one right in here. And that's why we're interested in what the wire are going to do. Hop. Because this is actually the wire that needs to be connected to the blue bunch. Right there. And I need one more wire. Because we also have this annoying siren. And this one also goes there. And then I can solder that one. It's so good I don't have a smoke detector here. Now, we have two wires coming from the switch. Wait, let me first isolate the one I don't need anymore to prevent a short circuit later. Let's plug in the battery again. So we have a light. Perfect. Although you don't want to wear this backpack to an airport, um, it's perfectly fine to wear it outside doing a splash water fight. So let me just uh, put these wires inside that I don't need and tighten it up a bit and then please follow me outside for a nice demonstration. Okay, so to give you a demonstration, I got some assistance from my uh, daughter uh, who's having the time of her life. So let's see what this baby can do. Give it to me! <laughs> okay, so that was a nice start, but um, I want to know what this baby can do, so I removed the pressure regulator, uh, the 10 bar limit, and we'll see what can happen. Enough! <laughs> so this is all I have for you today. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, remember to visit the Element 14 community. We have lots of project info and other information available for you. Take a look. I'm sure you will like it. For me, I'm off to the next water fight, so I see you next time. <laughs>